Good morning and welcome to my first vlog. So of course I had to start the vlog when I don't even have my correct camera. But I'm thinking if I'm not starting it now, I will never do it. I have thought about this for ages and ages and ages and uh, it just never seems like the right time so i'm thinking we're just gonna start the day and i will bring you along this is the outfit we're going for today it's super cold it's snowing like crazy it's probably a storm outside so this is the look halfway down my house and it's an instant regret, instant regret. I made it to the studio. Now I'm just trying to remember where I have put my camera. Okay, so I'm thinking about starting a new piece, but I have a delivery coming tomorrow with so many fun things. And I know that if I'm gonna start a new piece today, then I will have to pause it tomorrow because I know that I want to start with the other paintings then. But I don't know. Okay, so I made up my mind. We're gonna do or start a new painting. I don't really remember where I stopped filming for the last part of the vlog or I don't know. It has been so much things to do, so... I'm just gonna pick it up here. I just got to the studio, just curl my hair a little bit, and then we will start to paint. I am so tired of this painting, or I love the sky and I love everything about it, but the, like the landscape part, I'm thinking that we will just completely cover it in paint to give it a little more dimension and some structure. A little white. I'm going to try to add some water just on the top layers to see if we can blend it in smoothly with the sky part. And I'm actually just going to try and do it with my hands. So let's see. Oh my god, yeah. I hope that this will be beautiful. Maybe if we take like the sponge and just do like really soft and then bring the hands. This is the fun part about art that you really have to try and see what will happen. I'm just gonna take a dry sponge and try to clean up the edges. Yeah, I just started to play with water and I'm not sure I have gotten the hang of it <laughs> yet. I don't really get to that perfect blend I want here at the top so I'm guessing that this will be an all-day project just to get some clean edges and I still have no clue what to do <laughs> down here but we will think of something let's see maybe we can mix in some more of the white okay yeah that's better when in stress add white <laughs> not do it for me. Definitely going to ruin this shirt today for sure. But that doesn't really matter. As long as we get a great painting out of this, I will be satisfied. It's definitely more like my old style, but with some new touches. And I'm thinking that I actually love it. I thought I was going to do more of the like minimalistic vibe and just really timeless. But there is something about like having these colors, making the contrast that I really like. So now I'm just gonna do like absolute final touches, wait for it to dry so I can do another layer with like highlights and shadows and then I'm gonna continue to work 
on the edges, but so far so good. This is how it looks. Isn't it just so much better than it was before? This was actually, oops, a painting that I made that was green from the beginning and I hated how it turned out, but I love the structure because I mixed it with a medium that here. Yes, it's this sand textile texture thing. And, and I love this. You need a lot. And I'm thinking that maybe it's better to just buy like sand or something from the hardware store and mix in with the paint. But since I didn't have that and I had this, I tried it and I loved it. I covered it up with some different shade of blues. I used the Prussian blue hue, Amsterdam grayish blue, the Payne's gray, and some of the powder blue. And then did another layer of green and then another layer of blue. So I'm hoping that when it's all dry, it would be beautiful, like a very dramatic, piece and I will definitely add my signature swans as well. So I'm excited for that one. <laughs> to wrap up because I'm meeting my boyfriend and we're heading home. So a good day in the studio.